Hello and welcome to Back on Track Trains. Today I have something really cool to show you. This is a pre-World War II set of uh, trains. It's not a, an original set as it would have been made up, but the engine is a 259E. means it has the E unit, so you can go backwards and forwards once you apply power. The engine dates uh, from really the late 1940s, 1938 to 1940 or so. Um, looked up a couple of references on it, and it's set up in that 242 configuration, meaning two wheels in the front four wheels on the motor and two wheels in the reverse. Um, there's the E unit there that you can see on the top that lets you set the controls and that classic L logo on the cab is just really one of my favorite designs. And then underneath the tag with the lubrication instructions and that classic Lion L Corporation New York tag. Really uh, one of my favorite features of this one is how it lights up uh, when it's under power in the front. The headlight turns on but also those two highlights glow red and the 259E sticker lights up as well. The tender that I have with this is also really nice. It's a 2689W, it means it whistles, makes that rattly classic Lionel whistle. It's not a modern clean whistle like a lot of folks are used to right now, but it makes that really loud rattling noise that you sort of come to love when you have these vintage Lionel trains. There's the electrical contact there for the uncoupling of the box couplers. Uh, that you can see there. And all these trains have those box couplers from the late 1930s with the hooks. And they do remote uncouple. I don't have any O-gauge uncoupling tracks, so I haven't tested on these particular cars, um, but they're all there and the shoes look good and nice and clean. So it really great, makes a great noise and a lot of fun. Up next is this box car. It's a 2655. What I really like about this one is it's really complete. It's got all the uh, brake wheels that you can see on the ends. The ladders are good. The doors are pretty good. There's some scratching and bending on the rails there, but it functions. The handles are there. It's really a complete piece. There is a little bit of something on that end there. Um, I didn't try to clean it too much because I figured the next owner will certainly do that, but really love the metal tags and the numbers. Again, they have the automatic uncouplers. You can see the shoes there as well as the... Um, the solenoids that, that move all that. So a really clean, nice piece. This has to be one of my favorite O-gauge pre-war cars in this shorter size. It's the 2654 tank car, just really great. And you can see where the, the later O-gauge uh, Sunoco cars are inspired from, but this is a 2654. It's nice and short, but just the colors are great. All the metal work, the nickel work is great. This piece is really nice. Um, one could clean the tank on it, I'm going to leave it as is and leave that up to the next owner, but again, a really nice piece overall. And then on to the last car, of course, the Caboose, the 2657, another really nice piece with no damaged metal work. It's in red with the yellow window frames or the, or the, the cream window frames, as you could call it, which I think really pops out compared to the white. The metal tags are all really nice on this piece as well. All the couplers work as they should. It's a little bit hard to connect these two in air. Could have done this on the track, but they hold really well when I've had it going around the track. They're not letting loose. They're really firm and they're really secure. And taking a closer look, I realize that there are two different types of electrically operated couplers on these. There's the one on the left, which is the box magnet operated, and then the one on the right, that's the box solenoid type. So. The boxcar would be from 1938 and 39, the tanker and the caboose from 39 to 42. So definitely not an original set, but a great grouping all together. These are just so much fun to have out on the track. This set runs really well. It just makes a great sound and just a really nice operator. Forwards and reverses really nicely as well. There, of course, is that classic Lionel rattling whistle. Great sound and a great set to run. Certainly enjoyed learning about this train and running it while I've had it, but it's not going to make the permanent collection. We're going to pass it along to a new owner. But make sure that you hit like and subscribe for a lot more videos to come about vintage Lionel trains.